All in all, well, it is for me. It could be afternoon for you or it could even be evening. But it's morning for me, it's a Saturday. And it's actually not a bad day today. So last night, what I did is I cleaned up the top surface, which you'll see very soon. Um, cleaned it all up, masked it up as well because of the woodwork. I don't want to get any of this grey primer on. And I'm going to attempt to put some primer on the front two windows and also this flat area on this section and then down the sides. Uh, and hopefully we can leave that Sunday uh, and then come back Monday possibly and carry on. So what I'm using is, uh, I did a bit of research on YouTube and I found that uh, this Interlux International Yacht Primer, that's what I'm using, uh, it seems to go on really well. Uh, we've got three coats on here, I think I mentioned that to you in the last episode or previous episodes. Uh, it seems to go on really well. Uh, eventually this will all get flattened off, uh, ready for the top coat. So I'm basically trying to get all the sediment out of the bottom because it really does thicken up at the bottom when it's been on the uh, shop shelves. Uh, it sort of congeals at the bottom and I'm trying to get it so it's nice and liquefied, nice and smooth. So once I've done that, I'm going to pour it into there. I'm going to use a little brush to start with because I'm going to go round the window section uh, and I'll show you the roller that I use uh, for the flat sections uh, once I'm up there. Uh, oh, a little top tip, learn this off YouTube, great channel, is pierce, if you pierce, I'll show you this count. Uh, where's me up? There we go. Bear with me a second. First can I ever used, I, I mixed it up, poured it out, and it was thick. When I opened it the next time, it was thick, dried, and bits dropped into the can. And then when I went onto YouTube, uh, a guy said, if you pierce around that little edge there, everything will drain in and you won't get that again and sure enough I don't get that again so that's a good tip for everybody because it's not what, cheap this what stuff. What do you use? Sorry? What do you use to pierce the can? I do apologise for that my cameraman's interrupting but uh, he's more than welcome to because I didn't say anything about what I used. All I used was a hammer and a nail and just knocked it round. Thank you. You're more than welcome, sir. It's just about see there. It's nearly done, but we've got to get rid of those because if I get that uh, in there or on the roller and then I start doing it, uh, rolling it on then it's going to be a bit of a mess so we've got to get rid of everything and it's right seems to be right in the corners so i've been doing it at least 10 15 minutes now and i shall keep going until i get nothing on this spatula we're getting there Let me know when you want me to go. I've got toothbrush in hand. You're doing it, aren't you? Okay, so I'm going to first of all, underneath this section here, I'm just going to finish off doing what I did last time. Just paint underneath there. I'm going to use this little brush and I'm going to paint on the inside of these windows here. And then I'm using uh, my trusty roller to do these flat areas here. Might actually have to use the brush on that section. And then once I've got this done, I'm going to then change direction. I'm going to start at the front of the boat, or the bow, and move back. So it's a question of, I think I might do, looking at the way this is configured, I might do... 
I might do this section, I might flip over and do this section first. I can be over on that section and then I'll then come round, go round the boat that way. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, because obviously I can't walk on it while it's, uh, while it's all wet. Uh, you may have noticed actually that these here are still here and I'll be honest I have forgotten about these. So I'm going to leave this strip for painting next time, that's, not, that's not going to be no problem. And I'm going to get rid of that, get rid of that, sort that bit out and then just put some paint in there. I'm going to definitely going to leave that there. Uh, so, uh, oh yes, I must apologise for the way I look. Because uh, my cameraman is appalled on the, the way I look in front of the camera. But I can't wear my shoes. I've got to wear something on my feet because this boat's cold. So this is the way I'm looking for today. So I do apologise. Right, let's get painted. So let's go under here. And just cover up where I've just sanded. It's very forgiving this paint as well. It doesn't seem to drip. It's quite nice to use. I must also point out that I've not been paid by this paint company to use it. I've just noticed that when I was uh, researching people uh, doing boats, this seems to be one of the most popular ones that they use so I'm basically just going off what other people have, have used and so far I have to say it's been it's been fine. I don't know what the top coats are like but uh, they are of the same make and you'll get to see what the colour is at a later date. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet uh, but I'm hoping it's going to look terrific when it's done. So we'll just get these edges done here Curing time is also not bad either uh, because obviously when you've done a section and you go back to it where you meet where you've put new paint and you're, you're meeting the, the paint that you've, you've put on it doesn't drag as much so it, does, it is quite forgiving and the, the weather that we're um, I'm in the northwest of England uh, the weather now uh, we're in the latter end of August 2018 and uh, it's just starting to tail off so I'm having to quicken up the pace because um, if I leave it too long then once the damp weather comes it's going to then become an issue to, to put this paint, uh, put the top coats on so I'm now having to uh, just put my foot down and get, get, this, um, get this undercoating done so I can be ready to put the top coats on before autumn comes in to play. Okay, so that's that in and done. That section's done there. Uh, I shall just paint. I don't think I can use the roller in this bit, so I shall use my brush. I'm not overly bothered about uh, brush strokes at this stage because when it comes to uh, the final um, time when it's ready for top coat, I'm going to wet and dry it uh, and I should get a nice smooth finish so I'm not overly bothered about having brush strokes at this stage and this is only the second coat that this has had, the hull's had the three, that's had two so I think I'm going to put another primer on top of that one. Yeah, I mean you can, uh, have you got a good view there? Mm -hmm. Okay, are we rolling? Oh, we are rolling. Rolling. Gosh, I'm very good at this producing malarkey, aren't you? You're supposed to tell me. Can we get, oh I'll tell you what we want. We want one of them. Clapperboard. Clapperboard. Oh yes. Maybe when we really get into it, can we have a clapperboard? Oh gosh. And a chair with like producer. 
and star, that's me of course. Yeah. Maybe when I get up to like 10 views, do you think you'll get me a chair? Anyway, I suppose we better start talking about the painting. Otherwise we're gonna get no views. And a lot of thumbs down, apparently that's what you get. You either get a thumbs up or thumbs down. Right, so I'm on the second section of this window. I decided to use this little brush uh, just to go around here because, well, because it's easy. As I said to you on that last one, I'm not overly bothered about uh, brush strokes at this stage. I don't think I need to go up there, do I? Uh, I must point out that uh, the man behind the camera uh, is my best friend. I probably mentioned that to you. And uh, he's just giving me a bollocking off there. We're calling him uh, uh, my cameraman. So I won't be saying that again uh, in fear that he might not turn up with his camera next time. So. Sorry about that, John. He may or may not even speed this up, so then you're not getting bored or even falling asleep by watching me do these little bits and bats. But this is the first bit that really needs to be done and then we can get cracking on the, the big bits. Okay, slight change of plan, purely because there's very little room at that side for John to stand and show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to do this first and then I'm just going to do this pad first and then I'm going to walk all the way around off the boat, use a ladder that he stood on and then do that section there and then follow the boat all the way around to the back. So I shall show you what I'm going to do here. Very short roller. Very short fibres. Uh, it'll leave a stipple effect, as you will see. You don't need much on. Let's get it evenly all over the over that. All of the contours of the shape. You see a bit of rubbish there. Get rid of that. I'm over the whispering to yourself. Just saw a bit of rubbish, so I just thought I'd get rid of it before I start sticking it in the paint. Also, if uh, you do see any imperfections, you can always use um, the, or I will, use the uh, body filler, marine filler, should I say, uh, to fill any places where I've missed because uh, obviously as you can see it's a patchwork quilt with many colours of the uh, previous colours that people have painted it uh, and if it, you get a nice uniformed colour then you can see all the imperfections in the surface that bit better. As I said to you before you know I'm not going to be overly keen on any slight divots or anything like that because I'm sure once it's on the water it's going to get a few more she's in the way a bit
job. What's that? I think I may have used the wrong roller. You <laughs> can see the stippling. Yes, you can. But I'm sure I used, I don't know where this one's turned up from. I'm sure it was a foam roller. Anyway. I'm not too bothered because it's going to get sanded down anyway, or should I say flatted. I was wondering why it was not going on as well as it should. Anyway, there we go. Can't help it, it's already on. Just take it up the edge a bit, just to uh, lose the area where I did it before. As I said, it's quite forgiving. It doesn't seem to have caused it any problems by going over it while well, it's tacky. Okay, so there we go. That's the first coat. One of possibly three that's going to go on. Um, so we'll let that dry. I'm going to uh, move over to uh, the ground level and then I'm going to go down with uh, the roller and go work my way that way down the boat, I think, uh, till eventually I come round to here when this edge hopefully will be dry enough for me to meet up to it. 